Hi there, Scorpio. I'm Annette McKinley, and this is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. And I'm here to do your love reading from now until September 30th, 2018. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. The more the merrier, I always say. And I'm coming at you from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp sign. Remember, this is just a general reading. You may or may not resonate. Um, please book a private reading with me so that we can focus on your situation and your energy alone. Um, remember that the energy can go back and forth. This could be your energy or the person that you're dealing with or anybody. And um, it is relevant to when you watch the video. Um, if you stumble upon the video um, a year from now, um, there's a reason why. So just keep that in mind. Keep an open mind. Um, and again, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and also book a private reading with me. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to pull a message from the Fortune deck as the overall oracle message. And then we're going to be using the Gilded Tarot as the main deck and then bring in some Lenormand messages for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Love from now until September 30th, 2018. Let's get going. All right. The key. Locked doors can now be opened. So if someone was keeping something a mystery to you or keeping some information or secrets from you, it is going to be revealed. You're being given some inner knowledge or information that will help you figure out what is going on. I just saw the Ace of Cups flip over. We'll see if that shows up in your reading, Scorpio. All right, let's get some messages for love for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp from now until September 30th, 2018. Does Spirit want to show us? Okay, your underlying message Eight of Pentacles, someone is working really hard, either working on themselves, um, putting in time, effort, energy into something that is going to pay off. This could also be um, working really hard at an actual job. It's Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, so let's see why someone is working really, really hard. Knight of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some passionate news coming in, passionate movement. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Earth Sign Energy again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone's got everything except love. They're all of that in a bag of chips. They don't have time for games. Then we've got Nine of Pentacles, Nine of, I'm sorry, Nine of Swords here, Air Sign Energy. Someone's not sleeping at night. They're stressed out, suffering from a little anxiety. Something's keeping someone up at night. Air sign, energy, thoughts, mind, communication. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, oops, and on the bottom we've got Ten of Cups. This is the Happily Ever After card. Marital bliss. Your cup runneth over. All your hopes and wishes come true. I feel like someone is single. I feel someone's getting tired of being single. They, all they do is work. We've got this Eight of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles here. All they do is work. They haven't had time for any fun. They're, they need some passion in their lives. And they're getting stressed out. They're wondering when they're going to have their happily ever after, I feel. This is all a matter of divine timing. You're almost to your goal. I feel like there is some new passion coming in. Um, just be careful because this can be like the one night stand player type of energy. Um, I feel like someone might be single and being in that player energy and they're getting tired of it. It's getting old and I think they're ready for some type of a commitment, Scorpio. Very interesting. 
Interesting, interesting. Just trying to see what other messages are here. Yeah, I just feel like someone is, they're wishing, they're waiting for their, their knight in shining armor to show up. You know, they're getting tired of the grind. They want this happily ever after. They're really worried. Um, hmm, interesting. Let's get some messages from the Lenormand deck here. I don't have any major arcanas. This is kind of a minor up and down type of thing you're dealing with in your everyday life. Um, so let's see what messages are here for Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Love. Ooh. Tower, someone is very strong, standing tall, good self-esteem. It's kind of your Nine of Pentacles energy, so Spirit is validating that. You're not going to settle. You've got good self-esteem. You're very independent. You don't need a relationship with anybody, but... Um, it would be a bonus if uh, that would show up. You're all that in a bag of chips. Now you just need your dip to go with your chips. <laughs> okay, let's get three more Lenormand's messages for you, Scorpio. We already have the tower that came out. Scythe. Ooh. Kind of reminds me of the death card, which is Scorpio's tarot card, and the Grim Reaper has the scythe. Cutting out what no longer serves you so that something better can come in. But I also feel like you are very independent. You've got good self-esteem. You know your worth, and you've cut out this player type of energy. You don't want it. You um, don't allow anything that doesn't serve your highest good into your life, which is a good way to be. Sun. Things are going to get better. Things are getting better. Ring. Commitment is coming. It's on the horizon. You're going to get there. It's just a matter of divine timing. Let me hold these up here. They're read le left to right, um, but because of the camera angle, it might look reversed. The commitment is on the way. Peace and harmony after, you know, gaining your self-esteem, knowing what you want and don't want out of, your, out of your relationships, cutting out any player type of energy from you, Scorpio, um, and just standing firm. And um, like I said, you know what you want. You're not going to be swayed. And uh, it's going to come. Don't worry. It, it will happen. You will, get your, you will get your ten of cups. You're at the nine. You're almost to the ten. Just don't give up, okay? So let me know what you guys think. I look forward to doing your private readings for you. Until next time, be the love and be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.